Welcome back to the news broadcast on 22 hour channel. First and foremost, we would like to extend our greeting and well wishes to all of the new listeners who have always accompanied and supported us along with our editorial team. We look forward to receiving your feedback and suggestions. We will further motivate us to deliver the best and most accurate information on the latest development in the pandemic situation, national and international news, and the hottest story of the past 22 hours. And now it's time for today's new update for you. Dear sirs and madams, according to the website of the Central Meteorological Observatory, the Central Meteorological Observatory has issued a yellow alert for a typhoon at 6 o'clock this afternoon. Typhoon No. 5 Dok Suri this year has weakened into a strong tropical storm and made landfall in Taman City, Bukkin Province, at 4 o'clock today. At 5 o'clock, the center was located at 26.2 degrees north latitude, 117.9 degrees east longitude, with a maximum wind speed of 10 on the Beaufort scale, about 28 meters per second, and a minimum central air pressure of 988 HPA. It is expected that Dok Suri will move northwestward at a speed of about 30 km per hour, and by early tomorrow morning, it will move into the eastern Yangtze River Delta region, gradually weakening in intensity. Forecasted strong winds. From 8 o'clock tonight to 8 o'clock tomorrow, the western area of the Yellow Sea, the central and western regions of the East China Sea, waters near the Diaoyu Islands, the mouth of the Yangtze River, Hangzhou Bay, the Taiwan Strait, and the eastern parts of Fujian, Jiangxi, Zhejiang, Shanghai, Jiangsu, Anhui, Hubei, will experience winds of force 5 to force 7 from the east and southeast of the East China Sea, and gusts of force 8 to force 9, with strong gusts reaching force 10 to 11 in some sea areas. Forecasted rainfall. From 8 o'clock tonight to 8 o'clock tomorrow, most of Fukin, the eastern coast of Guangdong, Jiangxi, northeastern Jiangxi, Anhui, Northwestern and southern Jiangsu, most of Hubei, southeastern Sante, central and western Sendong, eastern Hebei, and heavy to very heavy rainfall in the southern and eastern parts of Liaoning, including heavy rainfall of 100 minus 200 mm in the southern parts of Hebei, northern Jiangxi, eastern Jiangxi, and northeastern Fakin. Recently affected by Doksuri, Hong Enham has experienced rain, heavy rain, and torrential rain. According to statistics from the Water Conservation Office of Hong Enham District, from 8 o'clock the day before yesterday to 9 o'clock today, the rainfall in Hong Enham was 217.3 mm, of which Trong Dam District was 235.9 mm and outside Trong Dam District was 172.8. Wang Haidown received 304.5 mm. Benjuan Reservoir in Ngok Aodown received 277.5 mm. Maifong Reservoir in Thuang Trintown received to 65 mm. Lin Nguyen Reservoir in Nintaidown received 267.5 mm. And Tiu Sun Reservoir in Mao Sun Town received 264.5 mm. Early this morning, Typhoon No. 6 Kanu, this year's tropical storm, formed over the eastern waters of the Philippines. As of 8 o'clock today, Kanu was about 1,730 kilometers east of Manila, Philippines, at a position of 13.2 degrees north latitude and 136.9 degrees east longitude, with a maximum wind speed near the center of the storm at first 8, about 18 meters per second, and gusts at first 8, with a minimum central air pressure of 998 HPA. It is expected that Kanu will move northwestward at a speed of 15 minus 20 km per hour, with little change in intensity, and approach the eastern coast of China. Since in, a meteorological analyst at the China Meteorological Channel stated that this storm will mainly affect eastern China, likely making landfall in Jiangxi or Shanghai initially, then potentially shifting northward and affecting Jiangsu and Sendong. There will be an interaction between Kanu and Dusuri. And Heap Kautran, a senior engineer at the Marine and Typhoon Forecasting Center of the Central Meteorological Observatory, mentioned that based on the distance and trajectory of the two storms, there may not be a clear interaction between them, but the easterly winds on the northern side of Kanu could be the weak and low-pressure circulation of Dogsuri, 
providing abundant moisture and aiding in sustaining the residual circulation of Doak Surrey and increasing rainfall overland. Ladies and gentlemen, since last Wednesday, northern China has experienced heavy rain and widespread flooding. According to reports from the French radio and television station in Beijing today, hundreds of train and flight services in Beijing have been delayed or cancelled due to heavy rain. Northern China has been hit by heavy rain yesterday and today. The residents of Beijing swiftly transitioned from scorching heat to rainy days. Flooding has occurred in Hebei province, surrounding Beijing, with some places experiencing century-record rainfall. One person has died and 34 are missing. Heavy rain and flooding in Beijing and northern provinces intensified on Thursday, with at least 24 people dead and 70 missing in the floods, mostly swept away by heavy rain. The center of Beijing experienced heavy downpours on Tuesday and Wednesday, with water depths exceeding 2 meters in some low-lying streets. According to statistics released by the Central Internal Affairs Bureau of China on Wednesday evening, since Monday, Beijing, Hebei, Hubei, Sante, and Thimte have experienced heavy rain, with at least 24 people dead. Among them, Hebei province suffered the most severe disaster with 14 deaths and 72 missing. All rivers in the province are flooded, and 123,000 residents have been forced to evacuate due to the risk of floods and landslides. 7,000 houses have been destroyed, and transportation and power supply have been severely affected. News from Beijing states that heavy rain and flooding in northern China over the past two days have resulted in the postponement or cancellation of hundreds of train and flight services. Chinese President Xi Jinping has called for the mobilization of forces across China to prepare for flood response and has promised to hold officials accountable for an adequate handling of the emergency situation. Beijing Today reports that heavy rain has inundated northern China, turning some streets in Beijing into rushing rivers. The heavy rain in Beijing from yesterday to today shows no signs of abating. Some streets have become submerged by over 2 meters of water. Traffic across the city is in chaos. Some subway stations are flooded and inoperable. Images online depict cars submerged in water and drivers abandoning their vehicles. Violent floodwaters have inundated certain streets, creating hazardous conditions. According to reports from Chinese media on Wednesday, the Meteorological Bureau of Hebei province issued the highest threat alert, and major rivers in the province have overflowed and caused flooding. More than a dozen levees have been breached, and two hydropower plants have been damaged. Local authorities have issued flood and landslide warnings, resulting in the evacuation of 68,000 residents. In late last month and earlier this month, southern and central China, especially the city of Wuhan in central China, experienced rare heavy rain and flooding. Flooding along the Yangtze River has claimed at least 128 lives. Although northern China is generally arid, seasonal summer flooding caused by heavy monsoon rains is not uncommon. Earlier, Beijing suffered its worst torrential rain in 60 years, leading to the death of around 80 people. In the Dimthan region of Jiangxi province, China, a tornado and hailstorm caused significant damage on Thursday. As of 8 o'clock Thursday, the death toll from the disaster had risen to 98, and the number of injured surpassed 800. Additionally, local authorities in Jiangxi province have deployed additional rescue teams, medical personnel, and started evacuations. According to statistics from the Chinese Ministry of Civil Affairs, several areas in Dimthan, Jiangxi Province, China, unexpectedly experienced a tornado and hailstorm on the afternoon of the previous day. Continuous rescue efforts were disrupted. This storm and resulting natural disaster caused 98 deaths and over 800 injuries, including 200 severely injured. A resident in Fuknin, Dimthan, recalled the horrifying moment of encountering a tornado, Within just 20 minutes, it felt like doomsday. He described, Suddenly, the sky darkened, and I thought it was going to rain, so I rushed inside. Then, I saw the roof of the house in front of me being lifted, so I quickly took cover in a corner. There was a loud noise, and the house collapsed, and I crawled out of the debris. Furthermore, a workshop building of an enterprise in the Fuknin industrial zone collapsed due to the storm, and the exact casualties are yet to be determined. On the other hand, regarding the tornado and harsh weather, it is believed that local meteorological officials failed to issue timely warnings. According to the report, 
the amount of rainfall in the disaster-affected area has significantly decreased, and it is expected that this morning will bring mostly cloudy skies with occasional showers gradually tapering off. Weather conditions will aid in ongoing rescue operations. Local authorities deployed rescue teams overnight to begin evacuating victims. This morning, the Red Cross Society of Jiangxi Province delivered a second batch of relief materials to the disaster-affected area. The main headquarters dispatched 500 tents, 1,000 family kits, and 3,000 coats overnight from Shanghai to the disaster-affected region. The report also highlights that southern China has experienced heavy rainfall for the past two months due to the monsoon, marking the worst flood event since 1998. This year, 180 million people have been affected by natural disasters. Hubei Province, China, has been hit by heavy flooding due to days of continuous rain, and Wuhan is currently in a state of emergency. Today, the Hubei Provincial Department of Civil Affairs reported that nearly 20 people have died and 10 are missing. However, the report does not provide specific details about the circumstances and location of their deaths. According to Hubei Daily, a wall in Wuhan collapsed during heavy rain today, resulting in the deaths of eight pedestrians. The collapsed wall was part of a company's enclosure in Jiangxia District, Wuhan City, with a height two to three times the average. At that moment, eight pedestrians outside the wall were buried immediately. When emergency responders arrived, they found all eight individuals deceased. Another report from Hubei Daily states that the Tan and Jianyuan community in Jiangxia district of Wuhan was flooded today, with water depths reaching 60 cm weather forecasts for the next three days in Hubei continued to predict heavy and very heavy rain, with water levels in rivers continuing to rise. Today, authorities in Wuhan have raised the flood control level to the second highest orange alert. Areas heavily affected by the rain and storms in Hubei include Wuhan, Xiaogan, Jingmen, Jingzhou, Shintao, Tiangang, Tuching, and other locations. Provisional statistics indicate that 100,000 people have been urgently relocated, and 7,848 houses have collapsed or sustained significant damage. Crop areas affected amount to 425,120 hectares, including 35,220 hectares yet to be harvested. At 1800 hours Beijing time yesterday, the China Meteorological Observatory issued the first orange-level storm warning of the year and upgraded the emergency response capability for major storms from level 4 to level 3. The Waiha River Basin will receive the highest rainfall recorded this flood season. According to the forecast, over the next five days, the southwestern region of East China, the Yangtze River Basin, southern Wanhui, Yangtze, western Guangdong, and northern riverbank areas will experience heavy rain, with localized very heavy rain. Among these, accumulative rainfall in central and northern Jiangxi and Donwei may reach 200-400. In these areas, coupled with intense convective weather such as short-term thunderstorms and strong winds, the highest intensity of rainfall during common hours will range from 60-90 mm. From tonight until tomorrow morning, the rain belt will gradually shift eastward and northward, leading to a significant increase in rainfall in Hubei, Jiangxi, and Donwei. Southern Hubei will experience heavy rain with accumulations of 100-200 mm, and localized areas may receive to 50-218. From tomorrow night to the next three days, the main areas of heavy rainfall will remain in the Waiha, Yangtze, Qianchao, and Guangxi regions due to the accumulated effect of rainfall. The risk of medium and small river flooding, mountain landslides, and other natural disasters in these areas will increase significantly. Residents, particularly those living in mountainous and disaster-prone areas, are advised to evacuate to safer regions. Meteorological experts point out that this heavy rain process could become the most significant rain event since the beginning of the Waiha River Basin's flood season this year, and flood control pressure will further intensify. Strengthening rainfall monitoring and preparing for potential scenarios are necessary. That concludes today's news update. Please leave any contributions in the comments section. If you found this informative, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your attention, and we'll see you again soon. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's concludes today's news. We sincerely thank you and all the viewers for following our broadcast. We wish you and your families good health and happiness. 
If you enjoyed our program, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon in the top right corner of the screen to stay updated with the last news that we will be bringing to you. And now, goodbye and see you again.